is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Weather excitement over Lake Pueblo today. This is viewer video. Take a look at that. That's must-see TV right there. Very well-defined funnel and water spout. That phenomenon occurred when today's very cold air moved over the still warm water in the lake. There was enough spin to create that phenomenon right there. That is fascinating. Thanks for sending that to us. And look at this. That squirrel right there was so cold today, he chewed a hole in the pumpkin, jumped in and found shelter from the storm. Cue the Rolling Stones, give me shelter. And take a look, this is different. I've heard of frost on the pumpkin, but never snow on the chili. Carl Musso from Musso Farm sent me this, uh, the Pueblo chili that didn't get picked before the big freeze. Mostly cloudy in the springs right now. How cold is it? 19 degrees. Keep in mind for your travels tonight and tomorrow morning, any water on road surfaces freezes tonight. Be especially careful on those bridges and overpasses. Pueblo still at 30 degrees right now. Clouds have kind of trapped some of that minimal amount of heat you generated today. But yesterday in the 80s, cold today with snow, you went from the comfort zone to the twilight zone just like that. Up to two inches of snow in some Pueblo neighborhoods. It traced to one in the springs, but up north, Briargate got three. Pueblo West, the big winter, four inches of snow. A band of snow just parked over Pueblo West created that snow. Here's what happens around here tomorrow. We're going to start with that very cold air parked right across the viewing area, but here's what happens. We pick up a downslope flow. What that westerly flow will do is scour out that pocket of cold air, so you get a big helping of sunshine tomorrow, and we will be defrosting during the afternoon hours. Here's how it plays out hour by hour. Nine o'clock, still really cold. We're still below freezing, but nothing but sunshine all across eastern Colorado as you roll out to pick up the kids from school. This is 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. It'll be a beautiful day with fresh snow on Pikes Peak and those clear blue Colorado skies. By 7 o'clock tomorrow night, kickoff for those high school football games. 40 in the Springs. Big cannon game at the Dutch tomorrow night. 46 degrees in Pueblo at kickoff. Here's how cold it's going to feel like tomorrow morning. This is your wind chill forecast at 7 a.m. Look at that. We're in the single digits across the viewing area. Woodland Park, it'll feel like 2 degrees below zero with a cold there and a light breeze. That wind chill forecast staying cold for you throughout the morning hours. Today, these highs were achieved at midnight. Little bit of water once you melted down that snow. Not the big soaker we were hoping for, but any moisture, certainly good news at this point. Outside right now, we've got single digits. Right now, it's eight degrees already in Monument. Coldest wind chill I could find for you is out at Lyman. The current wind chill there is three degrees above zero. Here's how cold we get on the thermometer tonight. Pueblo 12, but if those clouds hold in, it's going to be quite a bit warmer. Warmer than that, if the clouds break up, you'll definitely hit 12. And the Springs 9 monument dropping down to 4 degrees tonight. Across northern El Paso County, Black Forest have got you at 3. Calhan dropping down to 4 degrees tonight. That's why we've got that freeze warning active for a hard killing freeze. Highs tomorrow, certainly no heat wave, but a step in the right direction. The wind is not going to be a problem tomorrow. Just a light breeze by afternoon out of the west, 5 to 10 miles per hour. In the Springs, a weather alert day tomorrow for that freeze warning, a hard killing freeze with a low of 9. Nine degrees. Another cold start Saturday morning, then a big time warming trend. I'll have you close to 70 degrees on Sunday with sunshine, warmer still Monday, then a week surge of cooler air backs in for Tuesday, but nothing dramatic over the next seven days. Pueblo after that icy start tomorrow morning, 53 will feel pretty good. Cold again Saturday morning for those little league football games and soccer games, then sunshine and dry air will produce a warmer weekend by Sunday. Back in the comfort zone, weak cold front with slightly cooler air on Tuesday, but nothing close to the big chill you felt today. And for Canyon City, a hard killing freeze tonight and tomorrow morning. Solid weekend warming trend. Dry skies next week with temperatures just where you like them during the month of October. And for Woodland Park, cold tomorrow morning at 3 degrees. Nice recovery at 40 and then that warming trend just continues by Sunday. Sunshine and an afternoon high temperature of 60 degrees. But tonight, guys, extra blankets, flannels, anything that will get you through a record cold Colorado night. Man, it was wild.